this is a female specific bike what makes it different from any other sort of unisex or, or male bike out there women will be riding it that's what makes this one a women's bike we've done women specific bikes for over 10 years at Trek. for us providing the bike to the team is really not just giving them a bike it's really more of a process it's getting them in for a fitting assessing things like their injury history and their flexibility because all of these things play a really important role in how comfortable a rider is on the, the equipment that they're sitting on and that happens regardless of whether or not you're a new cyclist or if you're a professional athlete racing at the highest level of sport. Fit is absolutely essential to get right um, so we want to make sure that we're matching the bike that they're on to the way that their body needs their bike to be for them and this bike just really gives us a lot of flexibility to do that. Can you tell us, if, if we were to come in for a bike fit now, how would it sort of be fitted to the rider as such? There are three main contact points that a fitter is going to assess with anyone that comes in. And that is where your hands are on the bars, where your butt sits on the saddle, and where your feet connect to the pedals. And if you think about those things as three points in space, ultimately what you're trying to match is putting those three points where the rider's body needs them to be. So you would start by flexibility testing because that's going to help determine how far you can lean from the saddle to the bars and if the saddle to the bars are, are too steep then you're going to put a lot of pressure on your hamstrings that your body isn't capable of, of dealing with. Saddle is an incredibly important part of bike fit and most fitters these days will tell you that it is the most important part of bike fit because so much can go wrong with the saddle and if the saddle goes wrong then it really doesn't matter how good the front end position is or how good the foot pedal interface is you will just be focusing on how wrong the saddle is and it will mess with everything else in your fit. Bar width is really important because if your handlebars are too wide then you wind up hyper extending your arms and the longer you're in that position the longer you're putting your muscles into a position that they're not designed to sustain. So making sure that you're matching the width of the bars to the width of the rider's shoulder is really really important because it just means everything's in a nice straight line. Similarly, if you're riding with bars that are too narrow, then again, you're, you're closing off your diaphragm and you're going to make your breathing more difficult and you're going to put more tension through the trapezius muscles in your shoulders. And that's a big muscle group and a lot can go wrong with it. And again, it's one of those things that can cause pain that will mean that people won't want to ride their bike as much. So bar width, definitely something, especially for women. Um, most of the time, what you see on bikes is too wide for how women are actually, what, you know, what, what their width is in the shoulders. Um, and it's a really easy thing to fix for somebody. And most of the time, if you're, in a, if you're in a good bike store, they can just swap it out for you. And they should swap it out for you and not send you out the door with something that doesn't work well.